Good morning fellow option traders this is Jeff and welcome to the daily scan for Thursday May 29th 2014 all right um, nothing in the news yesterday but the uh, market was pretty flat at least the indexes were and for today we have GDP that should be a big one that's probably bigger than anything else and then uh, jobless claims at the same time pending home sales at 10 a.m. Uh, petroleum report at 11 and that's it nothing in the afternoon um, okay so let's take a look at whoa what happened here I have no idea been having some pretty squirrely things happening here internet wise and I noticed like the email scamming and the Facebook uh, duplicating accounts and all that kind of stuff is starting to get pretty serious like I got an email this morning that claimed it was from the United States Postal Service and said click on this link to print the label because you weren't home for a delivery well, if you look at the email address, <laughs> it's def I don't have no idea where it's from. Uh, it's got a very long um, URL on the end of it, and it just doesn't make any sense. So just be very, very careful out there. That's all I can say. Okay, over in Asia, uh, we're mixed to probably more bearish I would say than bullish and in Europe we definitely are bearish so looking for a similar move like that here in the States right now though it's looking slightly positive for the open gold continues its dive it's down to 1254 now oil is at 10287 which pulled back slightly and uh, we were looking at silver yesterday and it's down another 13 14 cents today down under 19 dollars here's something uh got an email this morning from the people at tasty trade uh, from tom Saznov, but actually it's from tom preston this morning and he talks about the VVIX, which is the, if we take a look at a chart, the CBOE VIX Volatility Index. I call this the VIX of the VIX, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Um, but he talks about this rather large candle that happened yesterday. Uh, being, you know, the, the big traders always like to be short. Uh, just in case something bad happens when it like we always say we ride the escalator up and the elevator down so um, For the most part at least that's the same So the big guys like to be short all the time and I'm kind of a short person too, you know I'm always afraid I get I get uh, bullish and then the rug gets pulled out from under me it happens frequently and when that happens, um, that hurts more than being short in a bull run, actually. And maybe it just has to do with uh, the law of physics, which says everything that goes up must come down, basically. Um, I, whether you, that doesn't really hold true um, in the market necessarily, but you know the open yesterday was pretty interesting here on this particular calendar or candle looking on the 30 minute chart so anyway uh, enough about that that's the new news for today so we take a look at uh, the account here close these puppies up down here um, we're still good on these we have uh, positive delta on Boeing negative on CVX and positive on TLT and I didn't do any trading yesterday um, I didn't really do anything 
uh, related to the market except to exit Costco and they have their earnings this morning so let's take a quick peek at them here they are so I got out right away in the morning um, may have gotten a better price in the afternoon what I really wanted to do was just to buy back the short and hang on to the long I was hoping the short would come down in price but when I was looking at it it was around 20 cents somewhere around there and I just didn't uh, did not want to handle that at all so I didn't want to put that much money into it I figured I'd just take whatever profit I have off the table and be done with it so it kinda looks like this if I were to take a look at it go to that was in this account an account statement and we'll do Costco and let's look at the past seven days let's go to ten days no, let's go to 20 days. Oops. There we go. Okay, so um, the short, when I eventually, when I closed it, it was 10 cents. So I would have had to pay the 10 cents for that and then hang on to the 17 cent one. We'll see how it works out, but um, it, it, was a, it was a winning trade, and that's all that I guess really matters. And we'll see how their earnings go this morning. All right, uh, let's go back here, back here on the account, and I think that that is all I really want to talk about this morning. One other thing, though, I actually got an email from a reader yesterday, and I missed a setup, or at least noting a setup on CVX. So here we are in an uptrend, um, and we're definitely, yesterday we were in a setup mode, because here's where we were when I did the video yesterday. Don't remember if I specifically said it, that I thought that this was a setup and I neglected to note it, or if I just totally missed it, which is entirely possible. But you can see here that... Um, this definitely is a setup for a bull put, but um, I have a little bit of doubt here because there's not a lot of momentum at the moment, and the EMA, 50 EMA, is turned over, and it's been that way for a couple of weeks. So we're coming down here. Um, EMA may meet up with the SMA and we may get a trend reversal on CVX but by the rules this definitely is still in a setup mode and I will make a note of that today so you know, we follow our rules and if you looked at it yesterday you would say well we're in setup but it's just not proving out if you would look at it at 3.30 in the afternoon you would see that price is actually below the open and we don't necessarily want to, or at least the price was right at the open, don't necessarily want to go with a 50 delta at the money kind of a trade on this, maybe a 20 delta, but definitely not a 50 at this time for a bull put. So I would like to thank that reader for bringing that to my attention. And I like it when you guys are thinking. I just love it. All right. Let's get over to the A-plus list. Lead-off hitter is Apple. And uh, remember yesterday I mentioned about chasing? Well, this is why we don't chase. If you would have said, well, yesterday I'm getting in. You know, I just, I'm going to chase this puppy sometime during the day by the time the end of the day comes along and be going eh, I don't know about this so and I also uh, remember mentioning maybe it wants to try to get up to 700 for this split it's got quite a ways to go to do that 
but it definitely can do that. We're still waiting for um, it to come down to our target. So let's see if that happens. Okay, Amazon. Let's do the Analyze tab here. Risk Profile. Amazon. I don't know. Really have nothing live going on Amazon. Um, this was actually in a setup yesterday. Did I miss this one too? Oh yeah, I get this wiggle here. Uh, this could be a 20 delta trade. That's what I'm going to call this right now. Is a 20 delta. And a 20 delta with uh, maybe an expiration next week. Let's take a quick look. Next week is June 1. And a 20 delta on a bear call side. Well, we'd have to go with 320. Would I go with 320? Yeah, I would do 320. Let's see if we get our 5 to 1 on that. Okay, the spread is $2.50 and we get a 45 cent credit. So, that is very close to 5 to 1 risk reward. Looking up here, we're risking 205 to make 45 and if we look at the probability here we have a standard deviation there's a good probability that it's going to fall somewhere in a shaded area and sliding this up we have an 80 percent probability of success of it expiring well, let's go right here. That's that would be out of the money. So we have a uh, seventy-seven or seventy-six percent of it expiring out of the money, or here, right here, this line right here, where it meets this white line, is telling us that. We have an 80% of it expiring above the break even. So if you like playing with these visuals, that's good. All right, moving right along. Sorry for the delay, but this is looking pretty good, actually. All right, let's go to Boeing. We're in Boeing right now. Um, Looking pretty healthy here. We'll uh, hang in there and stay in on this one. Uh, is there any other opportunity here? No, nope. we would be looking for another target down here. And only time will tell whether it should be a 20 or 50 delta. Of course, if I would have done a 50 delta on this, I didn't think the trend was strong enough at the time, but a 50 delta here would have been would have worked out very well. I do. All right, we have what we thought was a trend reversal here. Not sure it's going to hold. This is not a pretty candle for yesterday. So, a little bit surprising. I mean, the market definitely did not act that way. But we'll see, nonetheless, we'll see how it plays out. We have to be patient. Cell gene. We were um, getting a little bit excited about this one with a trend reversal yesterday, and we set a target down here. We're still waiting for that. Chipotle. Uh, why do we have all that space over there? I don't understand that. Okay, um, we were in a downtrend on Chipotle, thinking that we might be reversing that. Really not sure exactly what to do with this one at this time. Uh, after just a fantastic run uh, up until the end of last year when it started getting a little shaky. I remember 
commenting a lot last year about what is it about a fast food place that makes the stock doing that. I'm just not real much in love with those restaurants myself, but apparently a lot of people are. Might have just been a trendy thing, who knows. But ours is not to uh, question that part of it. We just work on the charts and take a look at what's happening there and let the charts tell the story. And we're seeing a downtrend here, so this might be, we're still in a downtrend. This might be a good 20 delta trade here. I don't know. I'm going to stay away from it for right now for that. Um, still believing that we might be in a trend reversal here, so we set a target down here, and that's what we're going to be looking for. Costco, again, uh, we got out of that yesterday. Uh, we have earnings today. Uh, that's correct. Before the market opens. That should be fun. CVX, we talked about that one. Uh, and we might be in a setup here, so we so we have noted that we are in a setup. Okay, uh, take a look at the Dow. What did it do yesterday? It opened up slightly from the previous close, and then moved down from there. Igor. Alright, so I don't know why these charts are ending up in different spots all the time, but we are looking for another move down here into our target area. So be patient. FedEx. Oh, FedEx is on a tear right now. And we're waiting for it to move down into our target area. F5 Networks. Um little bit of uh, wishy-washy activity in here. Actually kind of wishy-washy for quite a while here. Um, there's that finger again. But for right now, we're looking for a target here. What do we got going? Mm, maybe a 20 delta trade way out there. You would want to do play both sides of this the way that it is looking right now from what it's been doing here. We're right at a major point of resistance and it backed off from it. So we could be looking at doing an iron condor and let's just take a moment here to take a peek at that. I would probably go to just the regular expiration here um, in June. And if I was to look for a 20 delta, I'd be at 115, which is way up here. So this 115, what do we have? We have a $5 spread with 56 cents. That's about a 10 to 1 risk reward if I were to look at this. Yeah. Darn near 10 to 1. Um, but if you were to do an iron condor on it, that's not bad. 56 cents of credit, that's not bad. $5 spreads. I noticed, though, that uh, with weeklies, we get... Oh, we're still at $5. Or we're at $1 spreads on the weeklies. Well, that's weird. Okay, this one only goes... Yeah, these are just being offered today. But normally on the weeklies you get a dollar spread. But here you have to, you're stuck with a five dollar spread. Actually, and they're at 250 down around here. Oh man, why do they do that? Come on, give me at least 250 spread on these. When you're doing a dollar on weeklies, Come on, you guys, get with the program here. Uh, but anyway, that that has possibilities. So I'm going to put this in the 20 delta, looking for a bear call at this time. So once again, we have you know uh, 
crisis flat lining here if anything is kind of inching down we're getting lower lows and lower highs and now we have we're back up to our normal high but we pulled back from it at least over the last month or so so that's why I would look to do like an iron condor on this okay uh, let's take a look at gold oh man gold you're killing me um, look at this this is almost scary I'm never going to be able to do a call on this I'm not giving up on it I'm not going to sell it right now so we're just sticking with it Google uh, Google we're still in a downtrend here but we definitely had a pull back on this but our targets down here we're expecting the trend to change so we're sticking to it <laughs> LinkedIn all right uh, we are definitely by the rules we are definitely in a downtrend here on LinkedIn and even though I have a target set down here, my, I, we had a violation here. And it just kept moving up. So this is a pretty strong move. Um, at least as long as this one, maybe a little bit longer. Here's the one that we played this one, I believe. And now we have another opportunity. So even though I put a target down here, I still want to look at this as a alertable trade for today so I'm going to put an alert in below the low from yesterday and let's see what happens I'm allowed to change my mind now we do have you know a violation here but that's okay I guess you could say it didn't get below the 80 and now it did move below the 80 with a nice solid move up so this target down here I could just to be legitimate move it up here that way it'll look better when we look at it tomorrow <laughs> we'll see how it works out today if we get this alert or not and it's just because LinkedIn has been so nice to us this year uh, sorry if I'm confusing you, but I was expecting a trend change on that. Okay, so uh, up now is 3M. Definitely in an uptrend, waiting for our target down here. NDX. So the pullback on NDX wasn't as great as it was on the Dow. So I think the big boys of the Dow are hurting right now. Uh, but the other um, indexes like NDX, uh, the NASDAQ and the SP500 and even the Russell 2000 I think are slightly healthier at the moment but here we have uh, we are in a new uptrend we're looking for a target down here so we're going to wait for that one to happen Netflix uh, we are in a downtrend. This, uh, not feeling real good about this one. I'm going to wait and see what happens on Netflix. I definitely do not feel confident enough to do a 50 delta uh, with a um, bear call. Look at this from yesterday. That's uh, definitely powerful looking so it looks like it's still it's going to try to establish that new trend uh, price line uh, we may be in a trend reversal here so that's what we're looking for Russell let's see how it performed yesterday uh, not as bad it again as the Dow still in a downtrend on the 50 SMA but the EMA has cranked up so therefore we're looking for a target down here SPX uh, same story actually it was much very powerful yesterday compared to the Dow um, 
So we have a target down here. TLT, remember I missed an entry on that. Now we have to wait for the next one. Wow, that was a big move. What is up here that is causing this black line? Oh, there's a black line over here. What is this? Holy mackerel. <laughs> Do I have enough drawings on that? I gotta clean those up. There, they're all gone now. <clears throat> that was uh, left over from when I was doing white charts, even. That's quite a while ago. Uh, wow. This is unbelievable. I don't know what's going on. I don't understand this part of it. I just play the chart. <laughs> Uh, okay, we looks like we might be establishing a new uptrend, and that's my assumption. And we have a target set down here. Union Pacific. Uh, we have a stock split coming up. I'm thinking about taking them off my list. I think I'm going to do that. I'm taking UNP off because we're going to have a split here, and you know it's that IV. IV's not all that hot on this. Um, it's not one of the big exciting movers, so I'm pulling out of this. And that's easily done just by doing delete and enter. And there we go. And last but not least is Visa. Hard to figure out what's going on with Visa here, but we think we might be establishing a new bullish trend here okay so that's it for today uh, thank you very much for watching have a great day and happy trading